right, don't stand there looking stupid. Everything's going to hell and Delgado needs you in operations. <coughs> oh yeah? You think? Ikande is throwing everything he's got at us, but we're planning on pushing his sorry ass all the way back to Jemison. That is, unless you want to keep standing here talking while the Vigilance puts its crosshairs on us. Legacy? Dios mio. <laughs> I can't believe it's right here. Jazz, fire up the analyzer. Can you confirm? It's true. You were right all along, Del. You know, there were moments. Doubts. I almost stopped believing it was real. That I was chasing ghosts. But then came that day on Subaroff, and everything changed. And now, here it is. Grix's legacy. Our future. Of that, there can be no doubt. This day will go down in history. And so will you. But it's not over yet. Now, only one thing stands in our way. The vigilance. Speak of the devil. Jazz, what is the situation? Looks like Ikande is starting to move. Typical sis death. The sharks are so bloodthirsty, they won't even give us time to bask in the moment. You understand he is a man who finds it very difficult to accept the loss. Afraid of us. With Greeks' legacy in hand, Ikande knows we're unstoppable. It's a desperate move that's going to end with UC Sistef losing everything. <coughs> Ikande doesn't give a damn. He doesn't need the legacy. He's just terrified what we'll do with all the credits. That is, if we survive this encounter and get to spend them. Those first few Sistef ships were only scouts, trying to confuse us and probe our defenses. Which means they're playing it smart. They're gonna try to take out our defensive batteries before bringing in their big guns. The batteries are the only thing we have with enough electromagnetic firepower to punch through the Vigilance's hardened shielding. We lose those batteries, we lose everything. Exactly. Jazz, lay the plan out for us. We're gonna hold the fort here while you hop back into your bird and head for those defensive batteries. For optimal firing coverage, we're keeping them far from the key and each other, so you'll have to jump to each one individually. You see any Sistef ships get within pissing distance of the batteries? You take them out. In the meantime, we'll secure Crix's legacy here and have Shinya begin cracking the encryption right away.
If I wanted you dead, I wouldn't take a chance that you might survive the battle. I'd shoot you in the head, right here, right now. As it happens, keeping you alive is going to end up being much more lucrative for everyone. Receiving a cut of those credits is the only thing that is convincing the fleet's captains that it's worth risking their own lives to defend the key. Hey, if it's any help, you can count on one hell of a party when you get back. Amen, Jess. Once the batteries are online, we will start our attack of the Vigilance. We'll tear apart the shields, board the ship, and bring Ikande to his knees. No, we might not get another chance. The Vigilance will only be in range because they think we are defenseless. We need to strike quickly and then board the ship the moment their shields are down. If we wait too long, they'll have time to recharge. Then you have your orders. Oh, and one last thing before you go. In preparation for the attack, Ikande arrested some of our people. While you're aboard the Vigilance, you might want to spring them from the brig. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, good luck.
making multiple contacts here. And one very pissed off flagship. All right, this is it. All ships fall back! Defend the key!
careful you do not track mud on the floors. You would not wish to tarnish this hospital. environment.
like old times. It's good to be back. If you think that compliment is gonna get you out of pay me my cut of Trix's legacy, then you're gonna be in for a surprise when we get back to the key. Anyway, I'll deal with these prisoners. Could use a few extra hands. Go on, go on. You work your magic, and I'll take my pick of the cargo here. again. I should start charging you for my help. Ouch, not even a thank you? Oh, I'm hurt. Anyway, I'll clear out the rest of this bay. You better get going.
Nice work. Keep moving. I'll see what else I can get into from here. Ground drive is still offline. of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. around here for you. Felt pretty good, too. Been a while since I was dropped into the middle of a firefight. Last time I was in a shootout like that, I was backing up the strikers. They ended up getting on Benjamin Bayou's nerves, so he sent me on security to clear out the striker's warehouse. Of course, I had a certain financial stake on the contents of said warehouse, but we won't get into that. Well, spend as long on Neon as I have, and you'll learn that using a gun is the most effective way to get what you want. You better run along. I'm sure they'll send a few goons through here eventually. We'll handle them for you. Commanding gun. All hands abandoned. Very 
to allow the Vigilance to fall into the hands of the Crimson Fleet. Why are you even bothering to talk? We should drop this asshole right now! Lower your weapon, Gillian. Are you out of your mind? Why? It would be pointless. I have activated the Vigilance's self-destruct. It won't be long before this ship and everyone who remains aboard are going to be incinerated. I am not doing anything. You think I am the one causing this to happen? The destruction of this vessel and the deaths of everyone aboard falls on your shoulders. Whatever caused you to side with these lawless pirates, I hope it was worth it. Because I need you to look me in the eye and tell me what motivates a person to cast aside all of their morals. Like the circumstances you've created here, I think you owe me that much. I hoped you'd give me some insight, some reason why things ended up this way. But I suppose that was too much to expect. In light of what's about to happen to us, I suppose it doesn't matter. And why would I do that? where you're wrong. This is not a sacrifice. Those who remain are likely already dead. This is vengeance. So there is some loyalty amongst the fleet, but I don't want to sentence future sons and daughters to die. If what you say is true, that's a big if. Perhaps escalating this is not the answer. You win. I've cancelled the self-destruct. You won't have any resistance from myself or Lieutenant Toft. All right, Commander. I lost some good friends today, so no tricks. Fall out of line, I put one in your head. I don't care about my life. I just want assurances that my crew will be spared. You're breaking my heart. Oh, yeah. You're real tough with unarmed prisoners, Mora. Jillian, please. This is not the time or the place. Yeah. Listen to your boss, Jillian. And keep your mouth shut. Now move. Both of you. Now. I took down Sisnev, and you led the way. You did it! You actually pulled it off! Didn't I tell you, Dale? I told you there was something different about this rook! Oh my god, Nave. You're so full of shit. What? I just call it like I see it, Jazz. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I seem to remember your rant about that lousy rook and how you were gonna off that loser and take their ship. No? 
Shut up, Jazz. Both of you, cut the crap and let me talk. All right, look, I'm terrible at this crap, so I'm going to spare all of us the stupid speeches and make this short. When I took over around here, things were looking grim. We were hanging on by a thread. The only thing that kept the fleet intact was the promise that I'd find Crix's legacy and put us back on top. At the time, I was full of shit. I didn't know how the hell I was gonna make that happen. And as the years passed, my words started to wear. We lost a lot of good people because they thought Dale was chasing ghosts. She's right. That thread I was talking about, it frayed. Badly. But when you found that recording on Suvorov, the hunt reignited. You gave us the courage we needed to hold fast. Now that his legacy is where it belongs, we can become the pirates Crix always meant us to be. Thanks to you. It feels extremely uncomfortable to be thanked for such a thing. Oh, I can't wait to get my greasy little hands on that thing of beauty. Get in line, missy. You talking about my new ship there. No one is doing anything to the Vigilance until I give the okay. For now, we're going to leave it at station keeping near the key until we decide how badly to trick it out. If you've left anything over there, you're welcome to head back and have a look around. Oh yeah? Well, since you think everyone around here helps so much, I'll just give them all a piece of your cut. <gasps> Dibs on the comp spike! You would go for that garbage. Me? I only want the cash. All right, let's get down to business. You want your money, and you're going to get it. A lot of it. See, now you starting to sound like me. Next thing I know, you be trying on my clothes. Won't look as good in them, though. Uh, you better not be flirting, because I might get jealous. Okay, okay, let's get this done. Before you head out and get drunk at the Nova, I want you to remember one thing. The fleet always comes first. There are still jobs to run, things to steal, and places to wreck. So celebrate, get wasted, then get back out there and make us some money. Last time I underestimated Rook, ever. But you're hardly a Rook anymore, are you?